Welcome back to Gentleman's Corner, guys. My name is David. Today is another Fantastic Friday video for you. And today's Fantastic Friday is going to be a little bit special because, as the title suggests, I'm going to take you on a tour of my home study, just so you can see what the room looks like. Now, several months ago, I did a Fantastic Friday video where I discussed what the ideal gentleman's study would look like. And I also discussed the fact that if we ever got a house, that my wife had agreed to let me adopt a room that I could turn into a study. Well, as it turns out, my wife and I did end up moving into a house, which was great. I think I mentioned that on a separate Fantastic Friday. Anyway, it's been great. Um, she did let me adopt a room to start turning into a gentleman's study. And today I thought I would just show you kind of how it's coming along. Now, by no means is this room complete by any sense of the word, but I think it's far enough along that it captures the spirit that I was trying to create. As we go through the tour, I'll mention a few of the items that still have yet to be installed or developments that I intend to make. And of course, in six or eight months when the room is officially done, I'll post an update video so that you can see the completed project. But before we go any further, let's go ahead and take a look around. All right, guys, so as you come into the room, you notice that it is a little bit tight. Uh, this room is only 10 by 10, but it still makes for a pretty good study. Now right there you can see the desk that I'm currently using. That was a graduation gift from my parents for graduating law school. And behind it you can see just a very short bookcase that is only temporary. Um, I do plan on adding seven foot bookshelves that will frame either side of the desk. So right now that's something I'm waiting on before I can start putting up a lot of my decorations. Just above my desk on the wall I have a clock. I felt that the gear theme really captured some of the Victorian steampunk that I was looking to incorporate into this without being uh, overly flashy. I feel it's still a very understated piece. Now, one of the features I love about this room is it has a vaulted ceiling. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera, um, but it has a very nice vaulted ceiling that goes from about eight feet up to about 10 or 11 feet which is absolutely great. It's got this huge window in the room that adds a lot of natural light. Now, as we come around, you can see I do have a large armchair here. Let's see if I can get the contrast. There we go. Uh, I have a large armchair here. This was actually my great grandfather's armchair. Um, it has been reupholstered since then, but it's still a great heritage piece to have in it. It does come with a matching ottoman that I don't keep in the main walkway for obvious reasons because the room is so small. But when I choose to, I can bring it out and use it as a recliner. And you may have noticed as I was coming in that there is a very large green square on the wall. The reason that's there is that is framing out the space that I have allotted for an electric fireplace. Um, I can't put a real wood burning fireplace in here, unfortunately. Um, I'm very sad about that but um, I'll be putting in an electric fireplace with a full mantle. And on the mantle, I'm gonna be having that electronic picture frame and then of course my pipe rack that you have seen in previous videos uh, with five or six of my best pipes. Above it, I have selected a painting and then on either side of the painting, I'm gonna be adding wall sconces to frame the portrait. Uh, for those of you who are kind of looking at this picture going, eh, what, what is that? That is a limited edition Star Wars art piece that my best friend gave me for Christmas a couple of years ago. It's a limited edition print that was limited to, let's see, 150 prints. It's of my favorite Star Wars character, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And this is number 66 out of 150, signed by the artist. So it's a very special piece for me. Now over here, I have a display of some of the swords that I've collected over the years, uh, along with a hat rack with a long scarf draped over it for texture. Uh, the pieces over here on the wall, the two Chinese character pieces above the painting are uh, new pieces that I have added, but the actual piece below it is a silk uh, embroidery piece that was owned by my grandfather. So it's another vintage piece that was brought back from the Orient on one of my great-grandfather's trips around the world. As we move over here, you can see that I do have a bookcase and it is completely full right now um, between my law books and a few pieces of memorabilia that I have chosen to have out at this time. 
There are other pieces I want to add, such as Galileo thermometers and daggers, but I have to wait until I have my full seven twin or seven foot twin bookcases. The desk is a very nice piece. It's a cherry uh, finish with a bunch of different uh, pieces on it right now, including the Brewster pipe and the Sir Walter Raleigh jar that I used during this week's tobacco review. The desk has a nice leather top, which I think really adds a warmth to the room and adds just another layer of texture. And then a very large uh, oversized office chair that I use uh, in here. And I think it the Chester fielding in the back really helps to match the Chester fielding that is in the chair and really brings in an element of the gentleman's study. So other than that, that's it for right now. And of course I will post an update video uh, at some later point once this is nearer to completion. Alrighty guys, well the whole point of showing you this room was just to show you what a gentleman's study can look like when it's in development. Especially one like mine where you're working in a very small space on a budget in a room that you really can't just destroy down to the bones and add whatever the hell you want. Uh, you know, ideally, I would have been able to put in chandeliers and built-in bookcases, uh, wood paneling to really create something like you would see in the Gentleman's Gazette or if you were to type in Gentleman's Study or Home Office on uh, Pinterest or Google. Some of those are what I took some inspiration from, but obviously the limits of the room I'm working with didn't allow for that. So this is how a gentleman's study can look uh, when it's in development as you are creating. Now, it'll be six or eight months before I actually have the money to finally finish this room and make it look the way that I want. But I thought it would be fun just to kind of show you around since I haven't really done it and I've been talking about it for uh, God knows how long uh, since I got this house and got this room. So some updates on the channel. Um, really not a whole lot. Uh, obviously I posted the Sir Walter Raleigh video earlier this week. Um, I have decided that if I get the job I think I'm going to get, Fantastic Friday is going to have to move to Saturdays uh, when I'm able to film it, and then I can film the tobacco review on Sunday, um, and then just post later in the week. Uh, I'm trying to keep you know, a weekend video and a middle of the week video kind of schedule so that you know, I'm not overcrowding one area of the week or the other. So I think that's probably a good balance. Um, I did mention, don't remember if I mentioned this on Fantastic Friday last week, I did have a job interview uh, in this, uh, this past week, which was very nice. Uh, currently, I am working with them. Hopefully, it'll turn into a job offer. Um, they've called me in for a second interview, so hey, that's, that's really, really nice. So, but the, uh, the channel overall is doing well. I think we're up to 270 subscribers. I think is what I had seen the last count at. Um, so that's nice. So other than that, there's really not a whole lot else going on with the channel. Um, I did have one question that had come up uh, in response to, I think it was last Fantastic Friday. Uh, somebody had asked what it is with my pipes, um, whether or not I segregate my pipes based on the type of tobacco that I smoke in them. And the answer, uh, very simply, is no, I don't. And the reason I don't is I find that unless I'm smoking a lot of Kia blend, it really doesn't matter. And their pro or the question they had come up with was uh, if they were smoking an aromatic blend and they were afraid of the aromatics gumming up the bottoms of their pipe and ghosting it so that you know, all you could taste was the syrup. And I just, I've never found that to be the case. You know, I've smoked some pretty wet tobacco uh, that's fairly heavily topped, and I've never had an issue with it ghosting any of my pipes. Uh, I do find that Latakia blends, on the other hand, if you smoke a Latakia blend in a pipe, you will never get it out. So I have one pipe that I dedicate to Latakia blends. It's uh, one of the Ozark hardwoods from Missouri Meerschaum, just because I don't very often smoke Latakia. And then the rest of them, I rotate pretty evenly throughout all of my different tobacco blends. So, 
you can do it if you want. You can have pipes that are set aside only for aromatics and pipes that are set aside only for non-aromatics. That's entirely up to you uh, as to what you prefer to do. I've never had a problem with it, but that's just me speaking personally. Uh, reminder, if you do have a question that you'd like to have answered on Fantastic Friday, uh, soon to be Splendid Saturday, uh, feel free to tweet me on uh, Twitter using the hashtag AskGentleman'sCorner, and I would be happy to answer any of the questions that you might have. If you have any questions and you don't have other social media, feel free to drop me a comment in the comment section below asking your question, and either I will answer it uh, that day by answering it in a reply comment or I will answer it on Fantastic Friday. If it's a really interesting question, then I may do both. So we'll see. But other than that, guys, that's all I've really got for you. Fairly short video today, not a whole lot going on. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit like. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit subscribe. And please do hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. It looks like a little bell and it will go off anytime that I upload a new video. If you'd like to follow me on other social media, you can find my links to my Twitter and my Instagram accounts in the description box below. Other than that, guys, my name is David. This has been a Gentleman's Corner Fantastic Friday, probably one of the last Fantastic Fridays we're going to have moving into the Splendid Saturday realm. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you're having a fantastic day wherever you are and whenever you're watching this video. And other than that, have a good one. <music>